So, uh, you wanna hang out? Hey everybody, I'm back. I was hanging out with Alex. What's the secret to perfect dovetail joints? Lowered expectations. Any project ideas involving bamboo? You mean like these? The shishi odoshi. You wanna see a little bit of it? You can watch the entire 11 minute transformative experience by clicking right here. How much do materials usually cost for my projects? Well, it depends upon the project. The furniture projects usually cost me more, especially the ones in my living room where I use cherry plywood, which was really expensive. That was pretty extravagant to make my coffee table probably cost close to $200. Most of the projects I make on my show, I try to keep them pretty inexpensive. And especially if you use pallet wood, it's free. Do I have any experience with gun grips? No. I have experience with the gripper from Microjig. When are you gonna do the chess piece? What are your thoughts on wax finishes? Usually when I use a wax finish, it's on top of a lacquered or polyurethane finish. It's also one of those finishes that doesn't last that long. I mean, if you really wanted to keep up with it, you would need to renew that finish every year or so. And who does that? How do you sleep at night? <laughs> Well, that's disturbing. What advice do I have on using MDF? It machines beautifully. It's so easy to run a, it through the router or the table saw. It just, it cuts like butter. Downsides of it is that it creates billowing clouds of MDF stuff that you probably don't want to breathe. For painted projects, use it. Oh, it's really heavy too. That's kind of a drawback. I guess it depends upon how much of a woodworking purist you are. How do you get started doing a video blog? Well, lots of people are vlogging these days. There's really not a lot to it and it doesn't cost anything. All you gotta do is set up a camera and talk. Sometimes, but I have to be careful because it's really easy for me to screw things up and get those scenes out of order. Do you ever start editing your video before the project is complete? Did I ever find out how those nails got pushed up on my planter outside? A lot of people told me that what happened was that water got down in there and it expanded and contracted the wood and through this pushing action, it sort of raised the nail. This is good. Do I ever use chisels? Well, sure, you gotta open paint cans somehow. Do I ever have a problem getting started on a project? Yes, it happens a lot. Until I can actually get out of board and make that first cut. And then once I do that, I sort of can kind of get into the groove. It all begins with that first step, just do it. Hey everybody, I, I'm getting Saul on the phone. It's ringing. Hey Saul, what's going on? You're doing what? Ew. Why do people always phone me when I'm in the bath or on the loo? Jack wants to know about my table saw blades and if I change them out for different purposes. I really don't. I use two different blades, but almost always use this blade. This is called a general purpose blade. It's got 32 teeth. It pretty much cuts everything. Robot Oppressor wants to know if you can make projects using tree roots. I don't really know. I suppose you could, but mainly I just wanted to say Robot Oppressor. What kind of glue would I use for making a drinking cup? I did that recently. I made some pots and what I did was I covered the inside of it with epoxy that makes it watertight. Have I ever purchased wood from a mail order catalog? Wait, they still make catalogs? If I cut anything more than an inch thick on my bandsaw, the bottom of the piece gets distorted. My guess is that your blade isn't tight enough and it's somehow bending. I think most of us under tension our bandsaw blade. I really crank my blades up tight. And here's another thing I do. I, I never release that tension. Everything you read says you always release the tension when you're not gonna use your bandsaw for a while, but I haven't had any problems. You've been purging a lot of stuff lately. Is there anything you wish you hadn't? <laughs> <laughs> no, I get a real sense of satisfaction by getting rid of stuff. But I did see The Purge last night. I thought that movie was going to be so cool. One of my most disliked movies ever. Cheap or expensive tools? <laughs> Well, there's your problem. Yeah. <laughs>